I am so excited for this video. And the reason why is because you have been loving the stuff that's coming from my hair, from my Instagram page or from TikTok. It has been being viewed and loved and what have you, which makes me so happy. I got this haircut just recently, a little shorter ver version. I have it straightened out right now, and we're gonna actually walk through vital key details with a haircut, and I'm gonna give a shout out to my main man, Chris Jones, who cut this hair, and my girl, Julie, who is my color love. But we're gonna talk about Chris Jones today and about his cuts and about things that you can look for with your haircuts right now. Okay, I'm gonna go through, I'm actually screen recording on my phone right now because I'm gonna pop it on this side. I'm on Chris's page. Hey Chris, how are you dude? He has no idea that I'm filming this. But I admire his work so much and have been blessed and lucky enough to be able to um, see his work in action as I was one of his, um, actually how I got this haircut, I was one of his models for an event that he did for an education class. And so if you look here on Chris's page, um, you will see he's given prime examples on social media of things to look for. And one of my favorite posts that he did, he did it a while ago, it was his September 25th post. He has a picture of where he has this haircut curly and he has it straight. And that's kind of, that's what we're gonna go over today. In fact, his most recent post um, is, Okay, it won't be the most recent one when you when you view this, but right here is it's straight on one side and curly on the other. Um, all the time, I'm getting asked left and right. Um, let me stop that real fast. I'm getting asked left and right about my haircut and about layers and what is your haircut. I've actually done past tutorials that kind of talks about my haircut but today is different, today is new. Um, I did a video on Instagram and TikTok of where I showed, and I don't know, maybe we can put this video in here. We can take the video from TikTok and just shove it here on the side and call it a day, ooh, yeah. Okay, we'll shove that video in here too on the side so you can kind of see, but what I did was I came in here and I showed this side view and then I showed my back view and all of that. So. Let me show you really quickly what the back looks like. The mic can't hear me anymore once I turn around, so I'm gonna be stay silent when I show you the back part. But the thing I want you to notice with the back is you're not gonna see layers. What has happened is he did cut this a little teeny tiny bit shorter um, from here forward, but you can tell that it's not a huge effect going, so it's not like this massive A-line that's taking place, okay? So let me show you the back. I'm gonna turn around really weird like here. <laughs> All right, and if I look ski wampus, it's just because my body's not my body's not straight. But so the back here we come straight across here. It does come a little bit longer in the back, or from the back to the shorter in the back. Shorter in the back, a little longer in the front. But check out how there's no layers. Okay, let me come up halfway. Okay, so one thing that you do possibly maybe notice a bit is that, so we have this blunt cut here, but then we kind of have where things can get a little wispy throughout here, so this is looking a little, see how thin this piece is, but then up here it's a little thicker? That's because he went in and he made a little bit of texture within my haircut. So, one of the biggest questions that people get, well, can this haircut work for my hair type? Most likely, yes. If it's massively curly, you can't do exactly what he did with my hair. You can have a bob, but it does have to be cut differently. And the thing is, you want to ask your stylist if they feel that this haircut is right for you. But there are key things that stylists need to pay attention to as well, but there's also key things that you need to know. If you have very thin hair, you wanna make sure that you are having a blunt haircut helps. If you have really thin hair and you go longer, um, it can make it look thinner. So if you have a long face 
and you have thin hair, maybe try taking it a little shorter. If you have a round wide face, you would need to come more down into here at least to help elongate out the face. If you're like me, where you have a long face and a long neck, having this cut off around right in here, it really helps just break that um, and just shorten things out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl one side of my hair and I'm gonna leave the other side straight. Cause one of the biggest things is somebody will take my haircut and they will take the look of it with curly hair. So you can see the one that I have here where I just have curly hair. And so it's gonna make it look like it ha I have more layers than I do and I don't have those layers. So I'm gonna show you just like Chris did in his awesome post, kudos to you Chris, that is the perfect um, explanation of, of it all. But I do wanna show you how that look can really change things, um, especially cause you've seen, you see me a lot with the curly hair and this is it with the straight. So I'm gonna curl half of it and I'll be right back. All right, so we have it curled, clearly and we have the hair straight. So for my short haircut, one of the things that I want to point out is because there isn't very much layer going on, when you do the curls, it can completely change up the look. So you're going to think that I actually have more layers than I do. But part of that is from the texture. See how this piece is just a little bit shorter? It is from the texture that we add through. So I wanna show you from that side profile how this can look like it has dimension and it adds to it and it makes you feel like it might have a little more layer involved than what it fully really does. That's making a difference there. And then this one, we're just really nice and straight. So key things that we are going to pay attention to for this cut. So for this cut, I love it to be either a straight cut or sorry, a straight look or a curly look. I, I asked Chris and I said, I want it to look good both ways. And I wanted it to at least be able to look good with my hats. Cause I do love to wear hats as well. So this length was good for us too. I have medium fine hair, but a lot of it. And because I have the medium fine hair, it's really, um, and a lot of it, it's able to have that nice, crisp, clean look, but that's also how he cuts it. He gives it that nice, crisp look. So one thing that Chris does that is a lot different than other stylists and how I've seen other stylists perform, and just so you know, I do have a background in hair. I am not currently a licensed cosmetologist, but that is indeed my background. My life has just taken on a whole different level of, things that having that license right now is just not in my cards. <laughs> so I do have that background in it too. So that is where this knowledge in haircuts comes from. So one of the things that Chris does when he cuts hair is a lot of people, when they go and cut hair, they will take it through the fingers like this, and then they'll come in and they'll tip cut like this, or they'll turn it and they'll cut it like this or whatever. Chris does everything against the neck and he even when your head's forward or however he does it, he'll take his finger down, he'll slide it, and you can actually see Chris do it on his Instagram page. And I'm actually gonna leave Chris's handle here again, and I will link it in the description below too that can take you to his Instagram page as well so you can check it out. Yes, there's other amazing stylists that cuts hair too. I just love how Chris educates in his videos and it allows you to see what's going on from the stylist point of view. And if you are a stylist watching this, you can see what Chris does that really makes the difference. So when Chris cuts hair, he has you tilt your head a lot. So you'll tilt your head this way, you'll tilt it back a bit, like not back, you won't tilt it back. You'll tilt it over more, you'll tilt it to the side more, however, but he always just nudges your head however he wants you to tilt your head your head. Um, that makes a huge difference. So he's always cutting there. And then he has his shears that his texturizing shears, he does not do a razor. So no razor work with this cut. You will get a whole, a, a totally different look. Razor cuts are going to make it so that your ends are not as blunt. So it really will completely change the look of the cut. Um, even if somebody goes in and does interior razoring, it's gonna completely change that look as well because all of this in here won't have that boldness that it needs and the heaviness that it needs in order to make it that more blunt cut. Of course, if you're wanting a haircut a little bit different than mine, 
you can of course do that. Your best thing that you can do is to take a picture into your stylist and try and get one with a straight and try and get one with a curly so that she can see and she can help you out more with your hair. So this is actually the perfect tutorial to be able to take for stylist. Now, I'm gonna do something really weird that I've never done in a, uh, in a tutorial before. I'm actually gonna just pause really quickly so that you can screenshot this right now so you can take it to your stylist. So this might be weird, but I'm gonna do it so you can see both. And I will pause here, I'll take one at this angle, and I'll take one at this angle. So, cue the music. We'll make sure we play some um, festive music in there, some jolly good tunes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my side profile really quickly too. And again, this side profile as well. And then I don't know what the back looks like, so let me check that out really quickly and then I'll show you the back. All right, I'm gonna show you that back right now. I hope this tutorial helps it make a little bit more sense with the haircuts. You cannot go into a haircut with a curly look and expect your stylist to know exactly how to cut your hair. Having an example of straight and having an example of curly can help your stylist get the look. The other example that's important to have is if you have thick hair and you take in a picture of someone with thin hair or vice versa, or if you take somebody in, uh, you take a picture of an example that has hair way different than you, the chances of your stylist being able to do exactly just that is gonna be a lot harder for them to do and for you to be happy. So try to pay close attention to your stylist, um, sorry, the examples that you give your stylist so they are realistic to what your hair type is. All right, I just finished up this look so that you can see it curled on both sides so we're not just having one. And I just wanted you to see with that, it really does make the difference, right? Like it makes it look way more textured and stuff like that. So we're done, we're over and out. Um, you can always see more. You can see more of those hair tutorials, those the little videos, the reels and stuff like that over on uh, jocelyn.mcclellan on Instagram. Okay, follow me there and say hi. Be like, hey, I just found you on YouTube. Hi, what up? And then on Fridays, Tuesdays I like to teach makeup and Thursdays I like to teach hair. And we go, it depends, I, I change it up. It's always just changing up on what little tips or product help or whatever else on a Thursday. So you can also find me here, subscribe, ring the bell, do the like, do the follow, all of that. Get Then you get notified for when a tutorial does go up. But I hope you like this tutorial. Again, giant shout out to Chris Jones and of course my colorist. She does a great job too, Julie Thomas. She's here in St. George. Um, Utah and Chris is in Houston, Texas. Have a great one. Take care. We'll see you next time.